Andromeda starts with a search for solid ground and safe harbor. The search for our golden world. Hello and welcome back to Stellaris, our campaign for the Exogeny Corp that is going to make sure that the Asari survive in this hostile environment. We were just checking out a wonderfully beautiful neutron star. Uh, previously, we were just getting our first colony, sh Asari colony ship out to its first planet to start to colonize. It's a very nice, very large planet. It does have a negative debuff, which is high gravity, so it costs more um, to build things there. But all together should be a really nice large planet for us to control a region of space. Uh, though we're going to be butting up against this empire right here. This other fledgling empire such as ourselves. So that will be quite intriguing. Found. Yep, that's fine. Go ahead and research it. Not a problem. Colonize planets. All right. Now this is an interesting piece, how this ends up happening is this building that I'm about to put down will eventually become a major planetary capital. As you get more and more population, you'll be able to upgrade it and upgrade it and upgrade it and make it nicer as it kind of show that the infrastructure of the planet is evolving. And because it has so many tiles, it will evolve all the way to its final um, level. But it gives bonuses to any tile that is directly next to it or directly above or below it, but not kitty corner to it. So ideally, and it only gives bonuses for food, energy, and minerals. So I'm going to drop right down here on top of this um, piece of science, uh, engineering. Uh, it's a river valley, and uh, that way we can get bonuses for our minerals and whatnot all right so i'll grab that and sarpocus prime is going to be our planet name sarpocus we're gonna colonize this is gonna be great oh, looks like they just took the 18 18 unit or tile planet but ancient survey markers Small short range transmitter has been located on the surface. It appears to be an ancient survey marker, placing here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious minerals. The minerals it was meant to inevitably. The, sorry, the miners <laughs> that meant to eventually uh, uh, ro um, mine here and evidently never arrived and the deposit is still here so plus four minerals great so there's a good good little bit of stuff here in this little area I'm at. so now that we are getting rid of our colony ship or at least our people are in the process of transferring from the colony ship onto the ground such we're gonna build another science vessel and we are going to hire or take a look at hiring Another scientist. All right. The first Asari colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down at the mouth of a large river delta, a river delta on one of several of the continents that can be found on Saperchus Prime. This temperate forest region will serve as an ideal first landing spot. The ship has been permanently converted into an administrative headquarters with for the new settlement and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as the colonists begin to disembark in large numbers, the first Asari city on an alien world outside of New Thassia. All right, we got 60 engineering points for having that. Let's take a look at who we could get. Warpcraft. So there's a couple of options for other scientists. Granted, there's three geniuses here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, 
I'm That's inclined to probably go with either the new world or the uh, industrial expertise. I think we're gonna get the industrial expertise. Actually, let's take a look at what we're currently researching. Okay, so genes, materials, and fusion pulse. It's fine. I'm going to set up. Wow, I can't even pronounce that a sorry name. It has a, a sorry name generator built into this mod, and it really comes up with some wild, wild, wild names for the characters no no but it, i mean don't get me wrong it's great it's very cool that they have this and they have one that doesn't have the mass effect music because that is copyrighted on youtube at least i have not had a good time interacting on that level so i was worried about a copyright strike so without having that it was like oh can i actually play as the asarian this was happened to be the only mod that had that so everybody's disembarking so it's you can see right here we're gonna continue to pay eight energy every month just until they finish you know creating a city here and um <clears throat> it says it'll take about eight months so we're gonna be paying for a little while for that but no worries as you can see our influence is actually starting to grow just a little bit Every population that shows up on New Thessia is growing in a ring for our people. How long will it take to make this? 200 days. How far are we out? So right now I'm looking at the total growth progress. We get 1.4 growth per month. It takes 54.6 in order to grow a full pop. Uh, tells you how much food you need existing pop reduces and various other um, fanatic spiritualists increase it or decrease the time and genome mapping which we had 10 so we're actually at a point where we're growing at almost normal if you were playing the game without the sorry d i want to call it a defect but you know it's a debuff that don't let doesn't allow them to grow at such heavily pop um, higher pops anyways we're gonna let that continue and we're at the point where we need to start thinking about a military maybe one or two other planets and really a military so I don't think so far we've gotten anything that can really help us Oh, interesting. 22? Yeah, why not? Yeah, we haven't gotten anything that really changes anything for us uh, militarily. Ex uh, we did get something science-based, so let's take a look at the ship designer real fast. And go down here to our science ship. Auto upgrade, and we get better sensors. So since we have that, I'm going to upgrade that. Construction complete. And if we ever have a chance these guys finish what they're researching around here, I'll send them back home to New Thessia to get upgraded so they have better, um, better ability to do more research. Um, no. 65% or 75% chance of failure? No, thanks. Wow, and he even failed that. But he didn't die. I've had many where it's like I have a great person, they have the perfect trait, they're almost all the way leveled up, and bam, you know, crash land or something terrible happens. Like, oh, what a bummer. It's a bummer when that happens. All right. So we have minerals and minerals and energy. So I'm going to grab minerals and energy, get a little bonus for both, and then go over here and grab some of these asteroids, start farming. Special project complete. All right, we recovered the other probe. We're almost done with this request that they made of us. All right, 
upgrade. Go upgrade at the port science vessel. And same for you. Dun, 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 dun. The music almost reminds me of something that Stellaris's music kind of reminds me of something you'd already uh, hear in Mass Effect as it is. But all right, we're official. We have one population on the planet, and it is growing, which is fantastic. We only have one food, so they're gonna go pretty slow. Ships yeah, they're gonna grow slow. Gonna grow really slow, actually. Not high enough level. All right. One of these ships is also being upgraded. Comet sighting. The light has been seen moving across the night sky in New Thessiet. It's gentle arcs standing in stark contrast to the so slow revolution of the stars. The citizens of New Thessia see it as proof of recognition by the powers that be and a suitable blessing for our cause. Comet sighted modifier adds 12 months, giving the following effect plus 10% happiness. All right, let's see on New Thessia. They're 87% happiness. 10% from the fact that they saw that comet, which is Wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right, science ship. Get that research project up there, at least before um, these guys expand again. Having more scientists will help us figure out what's around us. All right, we gained another level from our genius character. Which is always good. Always good to have more levels on scientists. They really do make a huge difference. Uh, that extra 2.5% they give for every level makes a hell of a difference as they um, continue to progress in their expansion as leaders. They can only get to level 5, unfortunately, but. It's still pretty useful. Research complete. All right, we got Frontier Clinics. Wonderful. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's get the extra propaganda. The propaganda broadcast, which helps 10% happiness, keep our people happy, and helps with our influence. Which we're kind of low on right now since we bought a scientist and we ended up getting ourselves a new planet. And I would really like to probably throw down here or here a territory influence marker. Leave that for now. Get two mining stations over here. Always need more minerals. Always. We're going to build a couple. I'm really excited to get our new coil gun, which should improve our base damage substantially from what we had. Yep, leave it for now. Who leveled? Okay. It's our industrial engineer. He leveled up. When this science ship is finished, we're going to send them up in for upgrade as well. Just, it's always nice to have everybody upgraded at the same level so they're all getting the same things done. We've detected the presence of a pre space civilization. Beauty in the Hizzle system. For Shizzle, they are 
in an early industrial age with electricity and intern internal combustion engines generating uh, coming into widespread use we should have an observation posted keep a close eye on these guys so beauty oh wow they're terrifying creatures primitive factories they're strong charismatic um, they're solitary and they're natural scientists. So they're also spirit fanatically spiritualist. I might be able to fold them into our empire and have them be on rainforest planets. Probe recovered. All right, cool. So we're not needing many more probes yet or left. Why don't you go out there and explore these systems. All right, great. I need to upgrade that other one. This guy, I'm waiting for him to finish. He's close. Let's actually check it out. This is a really cool looking pulsar. They did an, an a amazing job in this game with the effects and just everything, the backgrounds. And it's such a shame that you really almost, in order to really get a good grasp of what's going on with the game, you have to play from out here in the Empire mode. System survey complete. So, I don't know. It's just one of those things I've noticed. It's like, oh, man. Mm, who are you again? Let's see. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not interested in risking you. Well, whatever. Yeah, fine. You can do the research. If not, I'll get somebody else. Right, let's check on the service. All right, so they're here. Time to build a power plant there. So we're running out of tiles that have stuff actually on them. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. We don't have a lot of minerals coming in. I'll clear that so at least we can get some more research off the planet without actually having to build anything research complete. great failure unfortunately we've been un unable to deduce anything great interest from these asteroids go all right oh great we got the energy all right, so this is a very interesting thing we have not gotten so far in this campaign or this game of yet, but it's the fact that we now have all of a sudden gotten rare technology. Rare technologies, the way this game operates is it pulls cards. There's certain things that you're more likely to have, but you every once in a while you have, you have X amount of so many turns to pull a rare technology based on all the other technologies that you've already unlocked. And then some that maybe you haven't, but are still just ahead or, you know, and it's based on the, how far ahead that is will be how much research time you have to put into that. Um, synchronized defenses are a weaponized system that we put on our spaceports as a mod, a station mod as you can see there, that increases our fire and damage output. So essentially it makes our spaceports far more defensible. And then we have orbital sensor array, which increases, it's a mod for our spaceport also. And it changes the output of the total science by 10% of all kinds on the planet. And it increases your planetary sensor range, which is that green dot, dotted line that goes around um, New Thessia's system. So that will expand out to like here. So, so they could you could per, you could actually see enemy ships coming into our system more likely, um, more likely to see them before they get here, that kind of thing. 
All right. And we have our engineering. And let's have him build a research station over there. All right. Well, guys, we got our first colony up and running here. We almost have our second pop that would be born natively to this planet. We got a good bit of discoverability on the planets that are around us, in particularly in the north, because we weren't sure if we wanted to snag something from our rivals up here in the north. And uh, we did get a decent amount of technology so when we come back, we'll do take a look at changing up some of our weaponry and some of the things inside of our ships so that we're at our best possible ability to push forward this new group of Asari in Andromeda. I look forward to seeing you in the evening. For those of Later. you taking these first steps, it should also be noted that some worlds may already be the sovereign soil of an existing culture, a concern we will need to treat with respect. Our new home is out there, waiting to be discovered, and these seven worlds represent our best chance to make that dream a reality. We've done everything in our power to give you a head start once we arrive, but the next steps now lie firmly with you. Your path in Andromeda is our future, and every step brings us closer.